Directions for Databases, Module A, Homework 1. Go ahead and open the University Homework Module 1. And when you get into Access, you'll notice that there are two tables on the left-hand side. The shutter bar will give you more space on the screen, but I like to keep it open. If you were to double-click Course, it opens up. Just like Excel, it's like a spreadsheet view. Uh, course, you can't see numbers, so if you hover between, you can double click with the double arrows. The same thing with introduction two, so I'll increase so I can see everything. And then you can see that there's a couple of columns here, department code, course number, course name, description, and credits. If I open, and how many, how many records are there? If you look down at the bottom, there are one of nine. And if you click through, you'll see each of the individual records. And then I'll click the department table much smaller table. Um, again, you can hover between department name and location to expand the size of it. And there's just three records here. To close, you can click the little X on the right hand side. If you moved or made any changes, I increased the size of that, so I must save yes. And the same thing here, I'll X and save yes. Now to open, you can also right click and choose open. And to close, besides the X on the right hand side, the far right, I have an X right here that I could close or right click and close. So now we're going to create a new table. So choose create, select table design. The first one will be called student ID and then the data type will be auto number. So you can use your down, I just typed the letter A, or the down arrow and select auto number and then enter, enter, last name, enter, short text is fine, enter, enter, first name, enter, short, short text is fine. This one is contact information, and you can keep it short text for now. We're gonna adjust it later. Initial date. This one I'm gonna choose date and time. So for each of the, um, if you look at the properties down at the bottom, a automatic number meaning each record will be one, two, three, and it'll be consecutively numbered. So that's a long integer. Last name, it, the field size is 255 characters. I'm sure a lame isn't going to be that long. You could have it just 25 if you wanted. Um, I think in the book I had it at 50, the direction. So it's whatever you'd like. And the first name. And if you kept it at um, 255, it wouldn't matter. For contact information, I want to use it as a phone number. And a phone number would have an area code and then seven digits. So it should be a total of 10 numbers. Now, I want it to type in the parentheses the area code and also to put the dash in automatically for me. So I'm going to click underneath where it says input mask. Once I click this cell, I'll get three dots on the right hand side, which means more options. Once I click that, it's going to ask me to save this document. So I'll go ahead and choose yes, and instead of the name table one, I want students. And then it's also going to ask that I do not have a primary key, so it's required, and it'll automatically put it on student ID number, which is fine. So yes, there's the key. So here we are back in phone number. This is the style I would like, so I'm going to click next. There it is again as the input mask um, formula, and OK. And it doesn't matter which way you do it, you can type it like this and it'll put it in for you. You'll see shortly. Okay, so we're done. So we can close out of here. But before we close out of here, I'm going to go into design view. So we, we could actually go out of here. Do you want to save because we made changes? Yes. It asks a lot. So I'm going to open um, students, but um, it opens up in, in uh, data sheet view instead of design view where we just set it up. So that's the difference between design and data. So data sheet is when you start plugging in the information, design is setting it up. So I'm going to press tab and I won't see a number, number one, in student ID until I type the first letter of my last name. And there we have it. So go ahead and type your name and type your, your first name and then make up a number. Notice it's putting in the parentheses for me and I'm just typing the numbers. And then for um, pressing tab, for the initial date, go ahead and click the little cal calendar and select any date. And then we'll X out of here. We're only doing one record at this time. So we have three tables, course, department, and the one we just created, students. 
We're going to go back to course table, so I'm going to double click in there, and we want to add another column here, um, graduation. So we're going to choose click to add, and it's going to be a yes or no. And then you can either check that they graduated or not. So we'll type in here, you don't have to press delete, just start typing where it says field one, um, graduate, graduation. And then you could check them off if you wanted or not. It's your choice. So you just added a whole new column. We'll X out of here. And you are all set to save. So file, save as. It saves at a database. And it's going to be as an access database, .accdb, which is fine. Click Save As. And once you do this, you save here. and Make sure you put it in a place where you can retrieve it shortly. It'll take you right back to access. Make sure you exit before you submit. Otherwise, if it's still open, when you go to uh, submit in Blackboard, it's going to have two files. Um, one that's the access and the other one be another access, same names, but um, it has a little lock on it. And that means that that one is active. And if you were to send me the one with the lock on it, I will not be able to open it. So it's best to just close out of here before you submit in Blackboard. And then once you do that, you're going to reopen it because part two homework is a continuation of the same one. So I'll see you in part two. Thank you.